Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about the account schedule for Dynamics Nav or Business Central. If you are trying to create a Power BI report for like your income statement or balance sheet or other financial uh, reports, and how can you make that Power BI report? Okay, so um, basically, if you're using Business Central SARS or uh, you're using uh, Dynamics 365, uh, Business Central on-premise or Dynamics Nav. And uh, if you have the web service configured and uh, with the old data web service and uh, it's uh, exposed externally to the internet, you have a internet facing URL and the SSL certificate for the old data web service, then you are able to go to your powerbi.com and log in with your uh, if you have a Power BI Pro account, then you can log in with your Power BI Pro account. Uh, if you don't, you have to log in with your company um, email address and to sign up for a free Power BI uh, uh, account. But uh, basically, it will require the Power BI Pro account if you want to uh, auto schedule the report for it to refresh. Okay, so when you log in to your PowerBI.com, then you can go to get data. And when you go to get data, you can go to services and you can search for Dynamic 365 Business Central. And then the service will come up. So right now I'm talking about if you are using Dynamic 365 Business Central SARS, okay? Uh, since Business Central SARS is already on the uh, cloud and uh, you don't need to configure that uh, SSL certificate for uh, the old data web service anymore and it, it just automatic. You have to log in with your credential to synchronize. So you can see there's uh, some pre-built Power BI report there. And the one which uh, shows you those financial statements, those financial information is the Dynamic 365 Business Central Finance. You can click on this one and then uh, you can click on Get to get this uh, app. And after you, you can click on Get It Now and after you did that, then you have to authenticate uh, with your business central credential, okay? Because I already did that before, so it will just load my app. So this is install. It, uh, install this Power BI app. Now you can click on install to install it on your on your uh, workspace of the Power BI .com, from Power BI .com. Click on continue. I already have one installed in the year 2019. So then you will see another new app will show up after it got installed. You see this one is November the 9th, 2020. It's from today's date, okay? So November the 9th, 2020. So this is a new one. Then you can click on this app, then click on connect. You have to connect your data, okay? And then when you click on connect, you have to authenticate with your Business Central uh, credential information, okay? So um, I want to authenticate uh, with my business central. This is the company you want to authenticate to. And enter, I want to authenticate to the production. So I'm gonna connect to the production. And uh, we need to enter the name of the environment. So this is a production environment, click on next. And one more requirement, so I made some parameters here. Let's go to advanced here. Uh, let's refresh. Refresh. Advanced automatically refresh my data daily occurs at midnight. So this is a new feature. Previous day, when you uh, get a service, then uh, you just uh, have to enter all these uh, information. So now enter the name of the company you want to connect to. So then you have to make sure you're entering the correct information here. So let's go to my Business Central production environment and uh, check the exact company name that you want to connect to. So you can go to the settings, then uh, see what is the company name. So it has it says Kronos, but it should have something else because I'm using a Canadian uh, tenant and you should say Kronos Canada. So let's go to my settings in Business Central and check, you see Kronos Canada Inc. 
that's the company name so we need to copy that otherwise it's not uh, so let's copy that information from the settings click on the settings and uh, click on my settings okay just hide this click on my settings here okay so there's a latency here didn't respond yet but then this is the company we want to copy to our this is the company name we want to copy to your powerbi.com okay not this one so this information is not correct and i want to connect to my production then let's click on next to see then you see it kind of authenticate and uh, you're connecting to the business central authentication method let's use all us that's the only option here um privacy level just leave it to none for, for now let's click on sign in then since I already uh, log in to my business central, then it remembers that um, you see it just uh, asked me to select that my login, and then it's refreshing the data now. Then you can see all these uh, reports here. These are uh, from your account schedule in your business central SARS. Okay, so this is how how you can uh, get a. Uh, uh, income statement, all those reports uh, connect directly to your Business Central SARS. And if you are using uh, Business Central on-premise, and um, if you don't have the SSL certificate, you don't have the old data service, you don't have the Azure AD, uh, uh, you didn't set up the Azure AD uh, connection, then uh, the easiest way is connect to your SQL database uh, directly. So what you have to do, you have to open your Power BI report. I already have something I did here. And uh, open my Business Central on-premise. So first you have to configure, um, let me see. So let me close this. First you have to configure uh, your, uh, the, uh, there's a KPI account schedule. So you have to configure that KPI. Okay, let's search KPI from the search bar. Then you will see the web service setup for the KPI. So it didn't take what I just entered. Okay, let's, let's wait until this uh, is still busy. The program is still busy. And uh, let's open this again. Okay, so now it should take. So KPI still didn't take. KPI. Oh, finally. Okay, KPI. Now when you search KPI from the search bar in your Business Central on-premise, then you're looking for this account schedule web service setup, okay? So this account schedule web service setup, uh, it's using your uh, account schedules you already uh, created in your Business Central. So I have multiple account schedules. Th these are the auto box from the Kronos demo company. So if you go to your account schedules, then you will see all these uh, account schedules showing up there. Okay, let's click on this one. Okay, so the these account schedules are in my Kronos Canada demo company and auto box from this demo company. So when you set up your KPI, then you can configure which one which one you want to connect to. So you go to your account. So those are the account schedules available. But you don't need to set all of them up, right? So if you only want an income statement, when you go to your uh, account schedule KPI web service setup, then you can just uh, put in the, uh, so this is my income statement, um, dash income. You can only put in this, then you can delete the other ones, right? And then after, so if you don't need the other account schedules, you can only leave this um, dash income uh, under this account schedules first tab. And then you can uh, publish, let's remove. When we remove the publish service, you can see this publish change to no. And we just need to publish again. When you publish, make sure you have a web service name here. Otherwise, it will give you an error message. Okay. And uh, so you see the publish status changed to yes. And also you have to tell the report like um, what's the range for the period like you want to get this data so i'm selecting current fiscal year plus the three previous years then you will see all those uh, the data for all those years and i select a view by month and after you publish this then you can go to your 
account schedule. So you can go to your, if you search KPI again, then you have a, another, uh, so this is another result after you search KPI, an account schedule KPI web service. After you publish, you can go to account schedule KPI web service to see what you have published. So these are the data like I published. So you can see I selected all these account schedules report, okay? And after you did that, then you can configure your Power BI report to connect to your SQL uh, database directly. And you can just give it a SQL script to get to select star from that uh, KPI account schedule table. Okay, so you can put in that SQL statement to just select from this account schedule KPI buffer table. And after you did that, then you will get the report. You can get the data. You, you can get the data in your this table, account schedule KPI buffer table, right? You, you get all the data. Let's see how the data looks like. Okay, so uh, it takes some time for it to load here. Then I have to wait until this load up. But this table is called the uh, account schedule KPI buffer table. And after this loaded, then you can uh, create some measures. Uh, also, you can create a date table. For the date table, uh, you can use some, because uh, for any uh, Power BI report, for the time intelligence, you have to create a date table. So the data table, I, the date table I created here only have the date, month, month number, quarter, year, because I want to see my months, or I want to compare like my previous year. Or you can add a quarter, or if you don't need a quarter, you, you can remove this. It's just up to you. The reason I add a month number is because if you don't add it, then it will sort the months by the alphabetic order. I want it to sort by the number instead of the alphabetic order. Otherwise, it's not January, February in that sequence. It's just alphabetic order, okay? So then uh, let's see how our account schedule KPI buffer table it should load now. So this table also load. This is, the, this is loaded from our SQL database. And after you have these two tables created, you can create some measure like what I did. I create some measure to compare like uh, uh, this this is the previous year, uh, year to day previous year, and this is the year to day for this year, and this is the this is the uh, month. So this is the this year um, a month to date for this month for the uh, this is the year to date for this month. This is the previous year to date for the same month. Okay. So then you can create another measure to calculate the net change. Then when you select the year and the month, for example, uh, I select the date, like a year and the month, then it's this comparing. Now you have to look at this. This is the month year to date, okay? Uh, this is for this year. This is for the previous year, same month. And then this is net change for comparing the the for this this month and the the same month from the previous year and this is the year to date for this year and this is the year to date for last year and then if you only select the year then that net change will be for comparing the year okay so this net change uh based on like if you select year to year old months then it will compare based on the period over period comparison okay so yeah, just some idea for how you can create your account schedule and show it in Power BI report. If you if you want to see both the standard financial reports from Business Central, or also you want to see the Power BI report at the same time, then you can create a Power BI report this way. And uh, how you can create a Power BI report if you are using Business Central SARS, and how you can create a Power BI report if you are using Business Central on premise. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you guys again next time.